Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, look at exporting this um, environment map into Nuke. Now, one way of doing this is just simply render it out using a batch render and then just render out this whole um, animation. Now, uh, what we can also do, though, is actually uh, export the, all the textures um, or all the images that we're, we're projecting onto our geometry, the geometries themselves, and recreate this whole scene actually within Nuke so that we've got more control over it within Nuke. So how do we go about that? I'm going to go into the perspective view just to have a so we can see the whole scene okay and what we need to do is we need to basically export the geometries as object files and the cameras as um, FBX files okay now um, what we want to do is we don't actually need to export every single geometry uh, separately okay what we want to do is export um, so what we want to do is, is we, we, we want to think in terms of projection sets, if you if you will, okay, or group things based on projections, okay? So what we have is we've got this projection camera here, okay, and uh, there's one shader that's been projected onto this surface and this and this surface, okay? So that would act as one group of objects, okay, that we'd export as, o, as an OBJ. Then obviously we've got a separate image that's been projected onto our bridge and then a separate image that's been projected onto our sky here okay um, and in fact sorry I should just mention as well that um, I have added a sky to this so in the same way that I did a bridge I just kind of put a plane at the back here now what I'd like to have done is actually put this plane a little bit closer to the um, uh, sorry, a little bit further away from our scene. But what you'll find is there's a slight limitation in Maya. As I move this away, you'll see that the projection doesn't work as we'd expect. As we move it further away, it suddenly flips like this. Now, I haven't managed to find a solution to it, so I've had to kind of keep the sky closer than I really wanted uh, to get the kind of proper sort of parallax effect, if you will. Um, uh, if you work out a solution, let me know. Um, but what I would advise is just watch the scale of your scene. Okay, so obviously another solution is obviously not to model this scene uh, at such a large scale. I didn't really want to scale it down now because obviously that would cause me all sorts of problems with my mat uh, and, uh, and, and, and practically kind of put me back to the start again because obviously my projection camera wouldn't fit the scene. Okay, so to continue, um, so I've got these two objects with one image projected on them. I've got this bridge here with a separate image projected onto it and this um, uh, uh, sorry, um, this object, this bridge here with a separate image projected on it and then the sky geometry here with the sky projected onto it. So I want to export these as, as three separate geometries. Okay. Now to export the geometries, as I said, we're going to export them as OBJ files. Uh, now what you'll want to do is just go into your plugins folder uh, let's go into plugins and just check that the OBJ file is uh, exporter is actually enabled. Uh, just got to try and find it in here. Here we go. It's called OBJ exporter.mll and obviously mine's loaded, but by default it tends not to be loaded. So you may have to go in here and actually check that before you can start exporting OBJs. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. Uh, let's have a look uh, in my uh, work here and I'm going to call it a new uh, oh hang on what have I done there create a new folder I'll call it proj comp okay uh, and then I'm going to put everything into this folder here so we can see what we're doing okay so I want to select these two images first because these have uh, these sorry these two objects first because these have the same image being projected onto them so I want these to be the same I, I want these because it's got the same image projected on them, to them, it means that effectively they've got the same material applied to it. So it's the fact it actually has the same material applied to it um, uh, that, that we're interested in. Okay, so I'm going to go File, uh, Export Selection. So we just export what's been selected here. Go, it's it's already on OBJ. That's great. And then I'm just going to move to my. Uh, Proj comp folder here, okay, and I'm going to call this um, geo building, okay. So this is the geometry. So, so geo just means geometry, geo buildings, okay. I'm going to export that. 
Then what I'm going to do is select this bridge, okay, and then same thing, export selection. Uh, export selection, and I'm going to call this Geo Bridge. And then I'm going to do another thing here. I'm going to go File. Uh, let's just go uh, Export Selection, Geo Sky. So that's our geometry exported. Next thing I want to do is export the cameras. Now remember, we've got two cameras here. Now you can only see one because I've actually hidden one of them in, in a display layer. I'm going to bring the other one back. Here we go. Okay, and what you'll find is, as I move this from frame one, so that's our animated camera that we're actually uh, viewing our scene through, uh, if I can actually select it. And then this is our actual projection camera here, okay? Uh, I've actually still called it camera two here. I'm going to call it projection, just to make our life a little bit easier. Okay, so... Um, what I'm going to do is uh, export both these cameras. Now, we export the cameras as FBX files. You can't export uh, cameras as OBJ files, okay? So, let's just select the camera. So, this is, uh, and more importantly, uh, FBX uh, files also support animation, which is useful for us because, obviously, our camera is actually animated, okay? So, I'm going to export this. I'm going to go... Uh, um, oh, and another thing I wanted to point out actually with this map, one of the things I found was this. If you look at the side of this wall, you can see it's kind of bending here, and I've got a feeling that's actually a result of the uh, lens distortion. So one of the things you might want to consider when you're bringing in images for your map is actually undistorting them as well. Um, obviously, this hasn't really caused us a problem from out from the perspective of this camera, but it's something to consider in terms of trying to really refine what you're doing when you're creating your mats. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export. Uh, yeah, I'm going to export this camera. This is our viewpoint camera. Okay. So I'm going to go file again. Export selected or export selection. And this time I'm going to select FBX. And I'm going to call it cam, okay, and I'll call it uh, view, okay. So this is our viewpoint, if you if you will. This is what we're going to actually capture our scene with, okay. Um, uh, export selection, and then this one I'm going to go again. Going to select my projector now. So this is what's being used to project the scene. I'm going to call it file uh, 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 export selection, and I'm going to call it cam. Projection. It's important to name things properly so you know what you're actually doing. Otherwise, if you just export things willy-nilly, you're you're you know if you just put random names on things, you're not going to know what you're doing. So hence, kind of naming convention of putting cameras and geo first, so I know what's a camera and what's a geometry. Okay. Now what we need is uh, so to bring our whole scene into Nuke, we need the cameras. We need the geometry, but the other thing we need as well is the actual images that we're projecting onto our scene, and those are inside our Maya project here. So I'm going to go into Scene uh, Source Images, and I'm just going to grab this. So we're using uh, projection version six, the sky, and the bridge. Okay, and I just copy those, and then move those into our uh, projection comp comp here. Okay, paste. Right, now what I'm going to do is start up Nuke. Uh, here we go. And then what we'll do is bring all these elements in to kind of, kind of create a, a fresh uh, uh, fresh comp. Okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a read node. Okay, to read in our images. So let's just go, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, to read in on images, I want to go to our um, uh, uh, projection comp folder that we're working in, okay? And I'm going to read in, what I'll do is I'll read in projection version 6 first, okay? So open that up. Here we are. Okay, and then it, we, we were projecting this particular image onto the buildings. So I'm going to also go and read in. So I'm going to use the read geo node to read in the uh, buildings geometry here so uh, read uh, here we are and there is an MTL file I'm not really sure what that is I need to look at that it's probably some metadata but it's the OBJ file that I'm interested in so I'm going to open that up okay 
And then to project this onto our scene, okay, what we need to do is use a projection node. Project 3D node, okay? So what we're going to do is project this image, okay, onto this geometry, okay? Uh, but obviously we need a camera. We need a, a, a camera, uh, which is the, uh, or, or the projector, if you will, the camera projector that's, that's actually going to project this image onto the geometry, okay? So that, if you remember, was our um, uh, FBX file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go camera, okay? And in here you'll see so in the camera node, when we're looking at it here, you'll see there's a tab called File, and that allows us to actually read a camera in. So I can go Read File, and click on here, and select our camera FBX. Now it's the actually, it's the, um, oh, I've gone into Nuke Comp. I didn't want to do that, did I? Let's go into, back into our projection comp. Yeah, here we are. So here we've got our uh, camera proj FBX that we've just exported. I'm just going to open that up. Uh, and this is just simply asking, do I want to destroy all the current settings in this camera? Yes, I do. So that's obviously going to read in the field of view of the camera, the position and orientation of the camera, all the things that are going to affect that projection. And then I just link that into our projection node here. Okay. Now let's just take a look at this, where, where we are so far, um, to see what that looks like. So um, what we need to see this 3D scene, what we need uh, is a scan line renderer, okay? Uh, in fact, let's just have a look in 3D and see what we've got at the moment. Here we are, great. So you can already see that we have a 3D scene here, and then this is our camera that's being used to project, and you can see it's projecting uh, this material onto uh, uh, this surface. So that's working beautifully, okay? So in order to get to... Re it's, but this is all in 3D at the moment. In order to actually have this in 2D, so that we can have it in 2D uh, in our comp here, uh, I need to create a scanline renderer. So obviously the scanline renderer will simply render this scene into 2D for us, so we can actually get a 2D viewpoint. So I connect that up to there, that's what we're going to render. But then obviously I need a camera to render this scene from, a viewpoint with which to render this scene. Uh, I'm just going to name this camera here, this one we've already made to projector, just so we know that it is the projector, okay? And then I'm going to create another camera, and this is going to be the viewpoint from which we're going to render our scene, and that's going to be the other camera that we exported, okay? So here I've got camera one, and I'm going to click on the file tab, go read file, and just open up our, uh, let's have a look, uh, Sorry, I want to open up my uh, cam view FBX. Here we are. So this is our viewpoint that we want to see our scene from. Connect that up to here. And now, if I go and connect this up uh, to here, uh, one more thing I need to do. Uh, at the moment, the computer doesn't really know what resolution, or Nuke doesn't know what resolution I want to render this scene out, okay? And it doesn't know what aspect ratio to render it out. So that, that, and that could potentially cause problems in terms of how this looks. So what I'm going to do is, um, you'll see that there's like a background, uh, if I zoom in here for you, you'll see that there's like a, a BG um, arrow here, and that's for our background. And, and actually it uses that background, even though we, we don't need a background at the moment, because that's the whole point of creating a mat, if that is the background. So even though that is the case, what we do need is 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 something to feed in here, uh, a, 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 a video or an image, something to feed in here uh, with a particular resolution so that it knows what resolution to render out at. So all we're going to do is just simply feed in a constant, okay? And black will do, and we'll just feed in a constant. All we do need to do is make sure that the constant is of the size HD. Here we go, and feed that in. Great. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is have a look at our scene. So um, I'm going to press 1, okay, and then go back into 2D. And you can see here we have a 2D render of our scene. Perfect. Okay. Now there is a slight problem uh, if we look at this, in that we've got a black area here. And basically that black area has been caused by the fact that um, 
both the both these cameras, the projector and the camera one cameras in here, they have like a near clipping cl plane, which basically means they won't project onto or render out a geometry that's closer than a certain point. So we just need to adjust that, okay? So if I go into my projector, I'm going to double click on projector, so it's the top thing in our properties here. So if I do that, what I'm going to do is go into projection and, oh yeah, uh, go to projection, you'll see what we want to do is it's this near thing that we want to edit, but I can't edit that at the moment because obviously it's all linked to a file. So if I go to file and turn that off, okay, it will keep all the settings that we read from the file, it just means it's no longer linked to the file, okay. Now what I'm going to do is um, click on this projection tab and just change this to 1, okay. And I need to do the same with the camera. So again, click on the camera, turn off this read from file, and then turn that to one. Okay, and now we can actually see that plane there. Okay, so it's just one of those little little fixes that we need to do. In most cases, with the mat, you're probably not going to have a wall that close to it, so this probably wouldn't be a problem. But with this particular project, it's just a slight issue that came in. So now what we want to do is actually bring in the rest of our uh, geometry and images and uh, to complete our mat here. Okay, so let's bring in the images first. I'm going to just press R to to read in uh, this image. Uh, so I'm going to bring in the um, uh, the bridge. Sorry, open. There we go. There we are. That's the bridge. And then I'm going to bring in the sky. Okay, here we go. And obviously, I need to create separate projection nodes because these are entirely separate projection systems. Even though they're using the same camera, they're different projection systems. So I'm going to create separate projection nodes here. Connect the images up there. Uh, and uh, just do another one. Sorry, I don't want to connect it like that. There we go. Excellent. And then what I'm going to do is connect the cam uh, arrow to the camera for each of these. Okay, great. And then obviously each of these are going to project onto separate geometry. So I just want to go read geo. And in this one, I'm going to read in the bridge geometry. Where are you? Bridge geometry. Okay. And move this down a little bit further and then I'm going to go uh, read Geo again and read in the sky geometry Geo sky excellent uh, now somehow I've read in the TIFF for my geometry here that's not going to work out well let's just read in the correct thing it was geo bridge wasn't it here we are that's correct okay so just spotted that I thought it made a slight mistake then okay and then what we want to do is add all these to our scene now in order to create sort of collect things into a scene what you want to use is a scene node so obviously we've got more than one thing in our scene now so we want to use a scene node to kind of aggregate all those elements together so if I just disconnect this and then create a scene node just going to connect that up there and then just connect all these into our scene nodes. So these are all part of the scene. And then obviously connect uh, the scene to the renderer. There we go. And you'll see now we've got a complete uh, mat that we have. And you can see that the camera move is all in there. Okay. And then we can work away with this inside our comp. Okay. And I'll just bring up the 3D view for you. There's our 3D view. And you can see we've got the two cameras, the projector the camera one and the projector there uh, in our scene. Okay, so that's how you um, export your uh, projection map from uh, Maya uh, into uh, Nuke.